Alright, so today's report is about X-Bar control chart. X-Bar charts are used to monitor the mean of a process based on samples taken from the process at gives times like, like hours or at, give, at the given times like hours, shifts, days, weeks, months, and etc. It indicates the or X or the question here is what is an X chart used for? It is indicates on how the average or mean changes over time. It is it's utilized to uh, monitor the process mean when calculating the subgroups at a regular interval from a process. The X bar chart is typically combined with with an R chart to monitor the process variable. If the variable isn't um, under control, then control limits might be too general, which means that process operations that are affecting the process mean can, can't be pinpointed. So what is an X-chart used for? The X-bar chart is quality control chart used to monitor for the, for the mean and variation of a process based on samples taken in a given time. The control limits on both charts are used to, you know, monitor the base, I mean monitor the mean and variation of the process going forward. So now, you might be asking, kung saan naman saan ng quality control chart? Now to answer is, to answer that question is, quality, a quality control chart is a graphic that detects whether sample products or processes are meeting their, their interval or intended intended specification. So what does X chart mean? X bar um, X bar chart on top uh, shows the mean or average of each subgroup. It is used to analyze central location, while the range chart on the bottom is the one that will shows how the data is being spread. It is also used to, to study system variability. Now, we will be constructing an, an X-bar chart from process data and then determine if the process is in statistical control. Control chart is uh, comprises of center line, a lower control limit or LCL, and an upper control limit or UCL. You see, the center line of the X bar chart is X double bar, that is the mean of the sample means. Now, if the standard deviation of the process is known, this formula is used to calculate the control limit. However, we will be using range in this report para medyo sayon sayon ba siya Now, in our case, or in this report, the UCL, which is this one here, is x or ucl is equals to x double bar plus a sub 2 times r bar and the lcl here is going to be um, x double bar minus a sub 2 times r bar now you might be asking what is this r bar for the r bar is the average of the sample ranges okay and the a2 here or a sub 2 is found on the control uh, control chart factor table which is the constant one which is this this table here will show us the constant for the control charts and also will will depends on the size of subgroup size or the number of columns now let's have an example here this one so in this example we will be using the process data which is this the, the size here is five and then this being collected within this being collected every day for 10 days and the objective is our objective here is to determine if the process mean is in statistical control and as are as are uh, as are required in the control limit formulas we will first obtain the sample ranges which is the means and I mean the range and the means. There you go. The range is the largest, or to, to obtain the range, the range is the largest minus the smallest, uh, the smallest value in the first sample. 
So for the first day or first sample, range is 509 minus 496 is going to be 13. Uh, 13. And we were going to do the same procedure uh, for the next um, sample, which is from day 2 until day 10. The mean of the the mean for the um, what do you call this? The mean for the first sample can also be obtained by adding up the values and dividing by five, and that gives uh, 502, 502. And we do not uh, we do the same proce uh, procedure for the rest of the samples from day two until day ten, which is these values here. Alrighty, so. Next, we calculate the x bar and x double. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, next, we calculate the r bar and x double bar. So we just need to get the total of those. So the sum of these ranges is 231. So the we will just go ahead and uh, sum up the the ranges. So we will, uh, we we can get 231. So x bar here. Is 231 divided by 10, which is 23.1, and the sample means add up to 4,978. So the mean um, x um, x double bar is going to be 49. Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be 497.8. So looking again. At the formula for the control limit here, we have everything but A2, which is this one here. Now, that I value sa uh, x, x, um, x double bar and the value for R bar. And then, to find, uh, to find uh, A sub 2, we simply go to the control limit to, uh, factor. Factor table, katong akong show kanina na constant factors of the control chart, which is this one. And since we have uh, size, I mean for the hour sample, we have uh, size 5. So technically, the value for our A2 here under size 5 would, uh, would be 0 0.577. So we already have the value for our A5. So since na naman tayo value sa x double bar which is the center line and also the range or the r bar as well as the a sub 2 we can now get the ucl as well as the lcl so this is going to be our lcl so we will just need to substitute the values and perform the mathematical of, um, operation and then boom answer is there ucl is 511.1 and LCL is going to be 484.5. So this is going to be the UCL again, the center line and lower control limit. So um, for our chart or for the chart, let's uh, first draw the sample points for the data using these values here, which is our X bar. So the point is going to be this one. And then we have to draw the control limits, the, the horizontal one, the upper control limit, center line, as well as the upper, I mean the lower control control limit. So our control, um, or hang on. Sorry. So our control limit technically is the, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so our control limit here is technically the UCL and the LCL. And then finally, we have to draw uh, uh, draw out the the run chart or the kanang atong connect na ang mga points para makita na to ang um, chart yun yung orange ay yung forma. So connect na to ang dots, and then there you go. So the X bar chart is now complete. We can now uh, see the we can now see that the sample mean for the day five here, which is this one is clearly below the lower control limit. Therefore, the process mean is not statistical or it or is it um is not statistical or is out of control. So as a result, 
we have to or we or we will recommend that the activity in day five will be investigated in that way we can do the corrective action to rectify what has been done incorrectly so that sums up with my uh, report thank you so much for watching have a good day